We're near Crabtree Creek and all these spaces behind me where the car should be, they're empty because they started moving them away from here just in case. They still have some more. They've got to move out of here. People around here really aren't sure what tomorrow is going to bring, but some of them do not want to take any risks. The rain and wind from Hurricane Michael are on the way to North Carolina. We know it's coming. We know we're going to get a bunch of rain, so we're just taking precaution. Thompson Buick GMC Cadillac in Raleigh sits along Crabtree Creek. When the creek floods, we generally get water on the lot. Employees started moving cars out of the way. They did this before Hurricane Florence, too. It took 40 people four hours to move 550 cars. This time, Lee Maynor says they'll move about a third of them. Why chance it? Uh, absolutely. No, there's no reason to, you know, to put everybody's job in jeopardy and, and everything else. We get the cars out of the way, and it's a good team building exercise. Jacob Alexander lives nearby. His townhome community flooded during Hurricane Matthew two years ago, but saw no damage from Florence. If it gets pretty bad, I might move some furniture upstairs, but that's really it. State leaders warned people to be ready. While this storm won't be as powerful as Hurricane Florence, when it reaches the it will still be dangerous. Even though moving these cars may get frustrating, Lee Maynard says the dealership isn't going anywhere. We've been a Cadillac dealer for 60 years. You know, it's it's getting better and better. We've had, we have to move fewer and fewer times, so as long as that trend continues, I mean, that's the great location. One the community will watch closely over the next day. Over the summer, Lee Maynard says he got caught off guard during a couple of storms and when Crabtree Creek just rose up suddenly. They've moved the cars about a mile from here and hope to have them back here Friday morning. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News.